So this is, uh, you're not going to be big sis stars with everybody, but this is one of our sets of big sis stars. This is going to be Terry Johnson and Anita Gerber. Now, Anita Gerber uh, started, let me see if I can uh, put you on here. I don't know if I can, Anita. Are you good with that? Can I add a spotlight? Are you here? Anita, you're here. <laughs> okay, got to see you. Can you now unmute at the soccer okay. game? Oh, hey, here you are. Can you hear me? Yes, I sure can. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me intro you really quick. Okay, so for some of you, Anita will be one of your big sis stars, but just go ahead and listen. And uh, okay, Anita started the Learning Turtle Preschool in her home in January 2014. She started with just seven students. Since then, she bought a preschool building, hired amazing teachers to help, and has been blessed to teach over 400 students. She loves owning her own preschool because she's in control of her own schedule. It's the perfect schedule for her to be able to drop off and pick up her kids from school. She loves her sweet preschool students um, and the impact they're able to have on their families and community. So Anita, before you go, because I know you need to rush out to your soccer, yeah. daughter's soccer game. <laughs> one question. If you yeah. could tell our new sisters one thing to help them find success in their first little bit here, what would you share with them? Um, listen to Joy. Do everything she says. <laughs> It's so fun, Joy. I just think about all the things that I've learned from you and everything. Like, like I remember a lo long, long time ago, you said to me, you're not charging enough, Anita. You're not charging enough. And so I actually bit the bullet this year. And I said, I raised my, like, right by like 25%. I raised my price so much. And like, I thought, well, people aren't going to come. And I am at the exact same number this year as I was last year mm -hmm. at this time, as far as enrolling students and things. Wow. And so I mean, do everything that Joy says and, and it'll happen. <laughs> and yeah, you got to work hard and you got to work hard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anita, I love that. Thank you so much for jumping in here. And she's going to be able to chat with you later um, in your sister circle. She's got to head out now for her daughter's soccer game. So, all right, Anita, <laughs> we'll see you, girl. Okay, bye. Okay. Um, next up with Anita's big star sister is going to be Terry Johnson. So let me introduce Terry Johnson for a second here. Uh, I think she's probably in her. Oh, there you are, Terry. Okay, so here's our Terry. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to intro you, Terry. Um, and so she is going to be big sisters with Anita Gerber. So if you're in their um, sister circle, you'll get to know them. Uh, Terry started Believe Academy in June 2022, which is five students. She's taught 16 since then, uh, tutoring, teaching on out school and in her own school. She loves owning her own preschool because she has the freedom to be able to make impromptu trips into the store with her husband to take care of her kids if sick and attend their school functions and be present as a mom and wife. Terry, welcome. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So Terry, if you could give our new sisters one piece of advice um, as they are beginning their journey, what would you share with them? You are the success. <laughs> you. Don't worry about what your business is doing at the time because your mindset comes first. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. Yeah, we just spoke to that, didn't we? That yeah. your growth is the number one thing that actually matters most because it's going to allow you to do anything, any venture in life. I love that. Exactly. Terry, you're phenomenal. Okay, friend, we're going to uh, put you back and we'll see you soon in just a minute. Okay, that is one of our sister circles. Now let's go ahead and introduce another sister circle. This one is going to be for Quinn Cooper. Uh, let me introduce our Quinn. Here we go and replace spotlight. Oh, I got to put my spotlight back on. <laughs> Come on now. Here we go. Okay. And let me introduce Quinn. Okay. So Quinn started Q&A preschool in June, 2022, which is 12. There's her beautiful logo, which is 12 summer camp students. She's taught over 25 students since then. She loves owning her own preschool because she is finally free to make as much as she wants, work as little or as much as she wants and be with her babies all that they need her. So I love that Quinn. Welcome. Hey, everybody. Hey, new sisters. <laughs> She's also in the middle of renovating her building. So we're super excited to see that whole process. Quinn, if there was one piece of advice that you could share with your, uh, with new sisters coming in, what would that be? 
Um, you said it, Joy, earlier. You said um, that word try. Y'all eliminate that from your vocabulary. There is really no such thing as trying. You're either doing it or you're not. You mm. need to go do it. <laughs> Say, I'm going to do this and then do it and just know that we've got your back to help you get her done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no more try. Just do, and I promise you that this lady has set forth the foundation for you to stand. You don't have to worry about sinking sand. It's solid, y'all. Just go do it. That's awesome. Quinn, you're a rock star girl. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> okay, next up, we're going to uh, chat with Quinn's other big sister in their uh, sister circle. This is Caitlin. And so let me go ahead and add her. And Caitlin Schulman is here. Let me introduce my friend Caitlin. So she started Little's Creative Preschool in June 2022, which is three students, but she's taught seven since then. And she loves home owning her own preschool because she can stay home with her daughter and niece and still help out other families. Caitlin, we're so glad you're here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I love your picture of your Olaf because oh. like anytime you have your picture, we always see Olafs. So I love it. Hey, if you had some advice for new sisters, what would it be? Don't stop. Like you said earlier, don't let the mindset of somebody else is more successful than you right now. That's just right now. Focus on where you are at. Um, just even if you can dedicate 15 minutes to doing something towards your business, take those 15 minutes. Mm, I love that. Caitlin, you're awesome. All right, girl, we will see you soon. Okay. Next up, uh, let's go to, let's see here. Okay. Next up, we're going to go to our next big sisterhood, <laughs> sister circle. Maureen is coming up here and her and Vivian are going to be uh, big sisters together. So let's welcome Maureen. Hey friend, how are you? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? Awesome. Okay. Maureen started kindergarten prep and beyond in 2016 with only her children as students. Then it took several months to get her very first student. She hadn't met me yet. So uh, to avoid that whole wait, but she's taught about a hundred students since then. This includes the after-school program she had, as well as camps and other things like that. She loves owning her program for chill, owning her own program for children, mainly because she has the flexibility of caring for her own children while generating an income. So Maureen, what would be your biggest tip for our new sisters? Um, I have to bring this up. You know, um, we live in a day and age where we live um, with instant gratification. We have cell phones, you press a button, something happens, yeah. you know, we, um, with anything really, whatever button we press, something happens unless it's broken, you know, um, games, everything, everything is so instant and quick mm -hmm. and right at our fingertips with AI and Alexa and all these things. So we have to realize that we are human beings. We are not computers or machines and things take time to work. What I like to do when I'm kind of feeling a little bit impatient with certain things, I think back to like, I don't know, maybe the sixties era where, you know, people worked in factories and it's like, they didn't care like how quickly things happened. They just kept their body moving and kept mm. going. And so um, my biggest advice is to just not stop. Like, um, like Joy says, um, stay consistent, eat the frog every day and, um, all those things that you will get to learn about. So <laughs> I know it's like, everyone's like, eat the frog. What is that? <laughs> it means do the one thing, you know, you have to do, even though it's the one thing you don't want to do. That's what eat the frog means. So anytime you see us say that we're just like, get it done. Come on, stop procrastinating. The one thing you need to do girl. I love that. Maureen, you're awesome. Thank you friend. Okay. We'll see you soon. Okay, next up, let's go to another uh, set of big sis stars. This is going to be Lori Siegel. All right, let's go ahead and um, add the spotlight. Welcome, Lori. Good to see you, friend. Let me go ahead and introduce you. So Lori started Joyful Noise Online Preschool in November 2021. 
but she didn't have any students at the beginning. Along with trying to work for several business opportunities, she finally joined an online homeschool group who was looking for a preschool kindergarten teacher. They had seen her website and they said, you're going to be perfect for this. She now goes live once a week with four to six students and engages with the families on the platform. She's able to market her two, three, or five day a week programs to them if they want more. Meanwhile, she shares free preschool content with her private Facebook group as she markets to them. She loves owning her own online preschool because she enjoys engaging with children and it gives her the freedom to do many different things. Lori, welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Great to be here. So what would your biggest tip be for our new sisters? Um, I would encourage people to know what they want and focus on it. Yeah. So that you're not chasing the next shiny object, because um, even I thought I wanted a preschool, then I thought I don't know if I want a preschool. <laughs> I might want to homeschool. I might want to do affiliate marketing. And I was all over the place. Yeah. So I think that was part of my um, delayed success because I was trying to do too many things at once. So determine what you want to do. Focus on that and put all your energy into that. Go at your own pace. That's amazing. Love that. Lori, you're phenomenal. Thank you so much. And we have uh, one of your co-big sisters. I'm going to go ahead and remove your spotlight for a second and introduce everybody to Becky. She is unable to make it with us because she's doing what families should do. And she is on a cruise with her husband. So we are celebrating with Becky. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can still talk at the same time. I share the screen with Becky here. Let me just scoot this over here. Okay. I got it. <laughs> All right. Here is um, information about our Becky. Um, she started Lily's Pad Learning in 2010. She started with just seven students the first year and has enrolled over 600 preschoolers. She loves owning her own preschool because it gives her the opportunity to change people's lives, the children, parents, teachers, and her own. And this is Becky Reed. And so she is also in a, a big sisterhood with Lori. Okay, next let's go ahead and go to, uh, let's see who is here one second. Hey, we've got Bethany on. Bethany, you've probably heard of Bethany. Bethany is our co-host on our podcast. Hey girl, how are you? How's it going? I'm good, thank you. It's, <laughs> it's been like so long since you and I have talked. <laughs> Okay, let me introduce Bethany really quick. Okay, Bethany started Bold and Bright Academy in 2020 with just six students. She's taught over 125 students since then. She loves owning her own preschool because it allows her to make a good living doing something she loves while being with her own little son, Silas. <laughs> so Bethany, what would you give as advice to our new sisters? Um, just to... I mean, know your why and stick with it. I mean, mm. that's, it is my hardest thing is that I just want to keep going on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And I, I forget to enjoy the amazing thing that I built and why I built it. And so just enjoy the hard work that you put in and uh, make it whatever you want it to be, because that's the joy of this whole thing is that you set your schedule, you set your classes, you set your rules, you and you don't need to accommodate for families because you think that there might not be others. There will yeah. always be. That's another big thing I've learned. <laughs> Abundance mindset. There are enough students in the world, right? <laughs> I love that. Hey, last thing really quick, um, because Jelly's not here yet, but one thing I want to ask you really quick, you are coming to Preschool All-Stars Live in the summer. Uh, in June, we're doing Preschool All-Stars Live here in Phoenix. It's a three-day event. Anyone with a um, annual membership to Preschool All-Stars will get to attend. And I might be opening up the doors for our monthly members that just joined. I might be opening up a window where you can upgrade to annual in the next 30 days. So stay tuned for that so that you can upgrade to annual and be able to attend that three-day event. My question to you, Bethany, you are coming to Preschool All-Stars Live. Tell us why you chose to come. 
Oh, I mean, like I have talked to so many, so many of the all-stars over Zoom and I'm so excited to get to meet everyone in person. Also, I uh, haven't gotten a weekend away since the baby was born. So I'm just like super excited for some girl time. Um, and I'm just excited to meet everyone. I mean, this has been like three years of my life that I've been hanging out with all the <laughs> people online and now I get to do it in person and, you know, celebrate everyone's success and learn from everyone. And I, I'm super excited. Awesome. Well, Bethany, you're awesome. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you soon in a second. All right. Okay. And then she is co, uh, big sisters with jelly Malenga. Let me go ahead and share my screen, uh, to talk to you about jelly. Let me, sh this is Becky, of course. So let me change. We've got jelly here. Okay. And I'll introduce Jelly Malenga. Uh, Jelly started Ms. Jelly's early learning preschool in 2021 uh, with 10 students enrolled in her pre-recorded online program. She's taught 40 students since then. She loves owning her own preschool uh, because it allows her the freedom to work with families in a creative way while creating a positive and nurturing experience that reflects her values and beliefs. It has also allowed her to earn some much needed extra income, which in turn has inspired her to dream bigger and imagine greater programs or greater things for her program and life. So she does online preschool. Let me introduce Vivian. Okay, so she started Kindergarten Academy in January, 2023. Uh, she became an all-star in 2021. So I want to remind everybody that your journey is your journey uh, with just one student. She's taught four students since then, and she loves owning her own preschool because she can focus on the needs of her students and teach without all of the testing and school district nonsense. <laughs> Did you used to be in the district, Vivian? Yes. Yeah. Yes. For 30 years. Oh, gosh. So, <laughs> yeah. So tell us what is your best tip for um, our new sisters? Be open. Um, don't just be stuck onto one idea. Um, once I kind of opened up to doing things a little bit differently, that's kind of when I started getting things going. Um, so don't be stuck in, you know, you have your idea of what you want and how you want to do it, but sometimes you get to where you want to be by doing something different. Yeah. So just be open to doing different things. And you have your program where, because that is a different place that I had never heard of before. Yeah. My program is inside an indoor playground. Yeah. See, I so would never have said that that movie. would be a thing. <laughs> and so she did it. Yeah. <laughs> you are amazing. Vivian, thank you so much. She is a big sister with Maureen. So you will yeah. be able to see both of them together.